have liked being looked by you. If you stop looking at this channel, we are nothing. So you are the nucleus of this channel and we thrive on that. Single one of you may get inspired out of it can change a degree or the area of your preparation. So that little thing pushed me to the edge to teach you today the topic that is tautology, contradiction, contingency from mathematical logics. And let me tell you this tautology is otherwise known as universally valued formula. So sometimes it is said or asked like this, what is universally valued formula? And let me explain you today in this channel that is a compound proposition. So a compound proposition that is always true. Irrespective of the truth values of the propositions that occur in it is called a tautology. See here the compound proposition that is always true. So let me give you an example for this. So the example here is P implies P or Q. See here this is the truth table in which I will show you how the compound proposition that is always true. So let me take all the values that is here true true and again false false. True for two times and false for two times. And next one true false and next one true false. See here got a clarity. True for single time false for single time. Here true for double and false for double. So after that I have shown you that is P or Q. So here if there is a P or Q simply remember that if they are two false so ultimately we will be getting a false. See here true 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 false false true and again here false false immediately you can write false for or that is disjunction the restore all see here the restore all true and next one is for implies again i have said you for implies blindly remember for implies true false will be getting false answer so if you compare if there is an implication between p and p or q See here, this is P and P or Q. See, so we need true false. So observe this one. So this is true true, true true, false true and again this is false false. So there is no case of true false and therefore instead of writing F, I am writing tree. Got it. So here is the case that we got all trues. A compound proposition that is always true irrespective of the truth values of the proposition that occurs in it is called a tautology and this case is a tautology in which the compound proposition so this is the compound proposition that is always true so this is always true then we say that this proposition is called a tautology so this is nothing but a tautology very clear so, wherever we get the truths in the last end, so that composition is called, the proposition is called tautology. See now, this is the example. Please remember this example and there are so many examples and I have given you this one today. So, for or disjunction, so remember that it is FF is equal to implies F and for P implies Q, remember that TF which comes false. So, if you fill this one, so this is also very simple. So, true, true, false, false, true, false, true, false. So, after this one, you have to remember for all it is for F, F, it will be F and the rest, they are trues. And for implication, so for implication, you have to remember that true, false will be always false. So, when you compare true, false, there is no true, false and therefore, everything is true here. So, if the compound proposition if it's always true, then we say that that proposition is a tautology. So next coming to the point, after tautology, this is contradiction. So what it will be a contradiction? So the contradiction is nothing but here a compound proposition that is always false. So here it should be always false. In tautology, it should be always true. Irrespective of the truth values of the proposition that occur in it is called a contradiction. So this is a contradiction. See, next one. So this is the example. Negation Q and P and Q. See here. So in this also we have to take the truth values as same as same 
that is true true and again false false again single true single false single true single false see here this is also very easy true true false false true false true false and see coming about this negation negation means a not statement a negative statement of q so if it is true we have to write false if it is false we have to write true if it is true again false if it is false we have to write true so this is negation so we have to compare negation q and p so if there is and conjunction see here if there is an and symbol here so we have to blindly remember that if there are two t's so immediately write it tree t and rest are all false so when you compare these two so when you compare these two so true false true true so immediately write t and here false 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 true so here the rest are all false See here for un und symbol, conjunction symbol, if they are two t's, immediately write a t and the remaining are all false. And next coming to this, negation q and p and q. So we have to compare these two, negation p and p and next one q. If you compare these two for a, again und symbol, we have t t which is equal to t. So when you compare these two tables, true false, false true and this is true false and this is false false so there is no tt here no true true so everything is false here so this is false and this is false and this is false and this is false so if you observe this one the compound proposition which is always false so this is the compound proposition which is always false so this is always false and therefore, the truth values of the proposition that occur in it is called a contradiction. So, this is a contradiction. So, if the compound proposition that is always true is called tautology, if the compound proposition is always false, then this is a contradiction. And coming to the next point here, it is contingency. So, what is this contingency? The contingency is nothing but the proportion that is neither tautology nor a contradiction. So, neither it is true always, neither it is false always is called a contingency. So, this is a contingency. So, this is also very, very important. Don't get confused. Contradiction means the last compound statement should be true always. This is uh, false always. This is neither true nor false. So, it should be in a mixed with uh, true or false. So, this is the example. See here, P and Q. If and only if P. So, if and only if P. So, for this, again, so we have to write all the values here. So, again, true, true. So, this is true, this is true and this is false and this is false. And next thing he is true, false and this is true, false. So, coming to and or conjunction, please remember for and symbol. So, logically you remember for any double t so we will be getting t so there is a double t right t so there is no double t here and therefore rest are all false so this is false this is false and this is false and next comparing these two that is p and q and p when you compare these two if and only if so for if and only if so, what is the logic you, which you have to remember for double implies? So, we have to remember as for double T as well as double F. So, we will be getting true. So, we will be getting true value. See here, observe these two. If you observe these two, true, true, true. And again, it will be true. So, this is true, false, false, false. If there is two F, again write T. And there is true false and again you have to write t see here true false so this one is false so there is a combination of true as well as false so this is neither a tautology nor a contradiction therefore this is contingency so this value is contingency so this type of tautology is called contingency so let me explain you once again so this is a simple topic this is tautology 
which is universally valid formula so here the compound proposition the compound proposition that is always true irrespective of the true values truth values of the proposition that occur in it is called a tautology example for this is p implies p or q so if you compare this one here the compound proposition at the end of the table we got truths so if everything is true here then we say that this is a tautology and next one contradiction contradiction is also very simple a compound proposition that is always false in respect to of the truth values of the proposition that occur in it is called a contradiction example for this is this one and see here if you see the last table here is all false so that kind is called a contradiction so here contingency means a proposition that is neither tautology nor contradiction is called a contingency so example for this is this one because there is a combination of true false and therefore this is contingency so this is how we have to understand the concept and we have a clear clarity on this tautology contradiction and contingency so here in my next video i'll be uploading Well, so few questions that whether we have to check whether it is a tautology or contradiction or contingency. So if you understand this concept and my next video, you will only answer. So if you really like this video, please understand the concept, pass it on to your friends, subscribe to this channel, stay connected for some more videos which are very very relevant and important for your preparation. Thank you so much.